Tara has mascara on. Oh, honey, Tara always has mascara on. Tara does not go to the drive thru without mascara, and I am not kidding. She's not. Tara is a vain ass bitch. <laughs> so we have got a, a lot of interesting stories, but tonight we have the best thing to ever happen ever on the show tonight. I'm I'm that concerns me coming from you. I'm so happy. But we have many things to get for get to first. Are you ready to begin? The I am ready to begin. Let it begin. Yeah, you say that you're not. No one ever really is. Who's the one that always winds up traumatized at the end of the bit? Is it me? Sometimes is it is you. you. Sometimes it Sometimes, is you. Sometimes, but usually you. Okay, each week, Catherine goes out on the worldwide interwebs, finds all sorts of horrible stuff, brings it back here, a little segment we like to call What the Fuck is Wrong with You, and oh boy. We're starting off... With, oh boy! We're starting off with a bang tonight. That is, in fact, a pun. Yes, I'm going to hell, but it, it, it had, had to be done. Had to be done because come to the pun side. Come when, when you see this story. Have have you ever done anything to impress someone of the opposite sex? I don't have to do anything to impress a member of the opposite sex. <laughs> I'm just impressive. Mm, sure you are, sweetie. Sure. Yeah. No. I don't know. Um, yes. I I imagine that I have nothing springs to mind at the moment, but I'm confident that I have, yes. Did it involve firearms? I have never done anything that involves firearms ever, so no. Well, and this is of course Florida, for the start off, Spring Hill, Florida. Man fires shotgun in neighborhood to impress girlfriend. A man trying to walk his dog in a neighborhood street was given a scare when someone from a passing car fired a shotgun blast. When a sheriff's office deputy arrived, the man pointed out the location of the Jeep where the shot came from. Uh, the deputy searched the Jeep, found four unused Winchester shotgun shells and a 12-gauge shotgun on the floor. When interviewing those at home, Patrick Murphy admitted he had been driving the Jeep while his girlfriend and two others were with him. Deputy reported Murphy also admitted to firing the shotgun in the air at the intersection uh, to impress his girlfriend. Why would that impress her? I know. This is no, no, this is not to impress her. No, no, go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, when I was in college, a dude drove a bunch of staples into his leg in an effort to impress me. Like opened up a fucking stapler and just drove a whole row of them into his calf. There's blood running down his leg and he's like, look, that doesn't even hurt. And I'm like. You're a moron. That's all you've proven to me is you're a fucking moron. So dudes do some illogical shit. On the flip side, girl. on the flip side. Some women. Just to see if they'll do it. Oh, oh, hell yeah. Oh, absolutely. Just There's nothing. There, there, there are a few things in this world more fun I'm going to admit this as a horrible person. Sometimes there are a few things in this world as fun as making some fucking idiot do stupid human tricks to impress you. Like just to see how far you can push a dude, be like, you wouldn't do that. I bet you can't even do that. And just have him be like, oh yeah. If they're gonna, if they're gonna be dumb, we might as well get a laugh out of it. That's all I'm saying. You're a bad person. Yes. Well, at least at least this guy had an excuse for that one. Did he? Did he? It was flimsy, but it's something resembling. She's already your girlfriend, which means she's probably already putting out. <laughs> this next one 
no girl was involved and neither was any sense involved. Um, and, and amazingly enough, this comes from Washington State, which is not where I would expect this to come from. But same same week, same thing, except this time we got video. Man shoots out of a car, posts the video on YouTube. Let's let's have a look at this, shall we? There we go. Yeah. All right, I'll turn that down a little bit so we can talk. And there he's pulling out the gun. So what? I'll read you the story while we're watching his shenanigans. A Vancouver man randomly shot a gun through a neighborhood and then posted the disturbing video on YouTube. <laughs> And his Facebook page. This was a twofer. Police said 23 year old Ronnie Wynn is in jail after crashing a stolen car last month. Nearly four minute video posted on YouTube shows Wynn pointing a gun out the window and firing a shot. In the car with him was a young girl holding the camera in the passenger seat. As Wynn continues driving, he pulls out an assault rifle. The, Oreg uh, the Oregonian reports the rifle was an airsoft gun that only shoots plastic pellets. Gets away, he puts it away, then grabs the camera for the only close-up of his face. Oh, look, there it is. Police say the uh, Safe Street Task Force got a hold of the video after finding it on Wynn's Facebook page. Um, that's obviously outrageous behavior. Very dangerous to the public, and the investigation was done thoroughly. I'm I confused. Okay, uh, about can what have, part? Can you have an assault rifle that only shoots plastic pellets? Is that a thing? I don't know anything about guns. It's called an airsoft gun. It's a replica. Replica assault rifle. Okay. And it'll shoot so the, the, yeah, it'll just shoot pellets. He, he wasn't accidentally going to kill anybody like the last asshole might have. Not with the pellet gun. With the okay. nine millimeter he was shooting. Yeah, yeah. See, that's the problem with randomly shooting bullets around your neighborhood. They don't just dissolve into pixie dust once you're done impressing your girlfriend. Which, by the way, there was a girl involved. There was a girl filming, so could be the same excuse. Or it could be like his niece or some shit. But once you're done impressing girl, the bullets do not magically dissolve into pixie dust. They hit things. Sometimes they hit people. Sometimes they hit people in the fucking spleen. You can't just randomly shoot guns all up. Like, that's not acceptable behavior. I wasn't pointing it at nobody. I, okay, I, and that's not acceptable behavior, but to film the evidence and put it on YouTube and Facebook. Well, he had to put it on YouTube so that he could put it on Facebook. Actually, no, he didn't. You can just upload a video direct from your fucking iPhone on the Facebook. I mean, neither one is smart, but if you're going to do something illegal, don't put evidence of your crime on the Internet. How many times we got to say this shit? This is apparently at least one more. Oh, you know what? Actually, do that, criminals. Put evidence of your crime all over the fucking internet and save our police women and men the trouble of having a look for your stupid sorry ass. Just do the work for them. Do your illegal shit. Put the pictures on Facebook. Go to jail. Do not collect $200. Make life easier for the rest of us. Actually, I like this plan because it's kind of like criminal Darwinism. We'll, exactly. weed, we'll weed out all the little stupid ones and the only ones left will be like the Moriarty motherfuckers and you could write exactly. books about them and they're interesting. Yes. I Cool. This is awesome. Yes. Uh, this internet deserves a better class of criminal. Yeah. Um, okay, this, this is... This is yet again... I don't know how many times... This is kind of bringing it around to the, the old classics. And it never ends. This one never ends. Can you guess what this story is about? Someone being naked. 
No, no. What? Something to do with Walmart? No. Someone driving something into something it's not supposed to be driven into? Nope. 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 We have a lot of recurring themes. State college police man tries to shoplift sausage oh, by meat in the pants. putting it in his pants. How could I forget meat in the pants? I am disappointed in myself. I had puppy in the pants a few weeks ago. This is kind of, this is like, this is the classic version here. 35 year old man faces charges after state college police says he tried to shoplift a $6 sausage by putting it down his pants. Um, the store manager saw the man unwrap the sausage and put it down his pants. The most terrible joke came to mind, and I, I, I really don't want to say it. You do. You do. You know, Pulp Fiction? I just, I gotta know what a $6 sausage tastes like. But you can't say that on the air when you're a girl, because watch, watch what's about to happen. <sighs> That's a good joke. <laughs> oh, okay, he unwrapped it. That, that this is the part that really skeeves me out. He didn't just put it in oh. his pants. He unwrapped it and put it in his pants. You're gonna eat that later? Really? Why? Did he think? Did he maybe think there was like a sensor on it? Because we have a lot of clients at my store that like rip the packaging off, or like take things out of the box when they steal them and leave the box because they think we have sensors and we, we don't. They're not putting a near field sensor on a sausage. I'm pretty sure they're going to let that one go. Six dollars or not. What do you think is in a six dollar sausage? Really distinguished pig lips. Yeah, like sausage is made out of the bits that they that are not good enough for actual meat, but not quite bad enough for the hot dogs. So the assholes of the classy animals. Yeah. The assholes of the porn star animals who have bleached assholes. I, That's with a six dollar sausage. I I just don't unwrap it. God, don't do. Because what? I'll do always, all gentlemen, gentlemen, always, always keep your sausage wrapped. I mean, in every context you can think of, keep the plastic wrap on it, put a rubber on it, keep your pants on it. Always keep your sausage wrapped. Did, That's today's lesson. Did That's he one did he maybe want like hickory smoke scrotum or something? I don't know. Maybe he wanted to marinate the sausage. Oh. Let's let's move on. Let's move on to something. Oh, no. No, this one's just as bad. <laughs> well, you know, we have one that apparently is going to make you happy. And so you must pay. I hate this story. I, I hate. Hate this story. This is from Montana. I have no segue. I hate this story. Dolls College of Beauty students were allegedly forced to trim pubic hair. 17 students and employees at Dolls College of Beauty in Great Falls charged in a federal lawsuit that uh, the complainants, all women, accused the beauty shop owners Douglas and Barbara Donenberg? Donenball? I think um, it's Donenball. 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 Okay of incompetence and failing to address sexual harassment allegations. Lawsuit claims the two would charge $10,000 ahead for a class, then abruptly expel students and keep the pay. But that's not the bad part. In one of several instances of alleged sexual harassment at the college, an instructor allegedly forced students to trim her pubic hair and then use the tainted trimmers on customers. Wait, wait, wait. No, you have to read the next paragraph. You, you read it. I'm not. I, you read it. Really? I just had pizza not too long ago. 
Among the offensive and unwelcome conduct included inter alia, um, the instructor publicly exposing her genitals, exposing her buttocks, and requesting that students examine a boil to see if it could be extracted, requiring students to wax her pubic hair, using a student's trimmers, trimmers and wax sticks to trim and wax her pubic hair that were, upon information and belief, then used on customer haircuts. The fuck is wrong with you, lady? Ugh. <sighs> Did, ugh. That's like at least six different kinds of fuck you. Uh, at least six, probably like more. There are baboons who treat their fellow baboons better than this woman treated people. Mandrels. Fucking bonobos, for fuck's sake. God damn. Now, the one part I, und I understand was a scam. Criminal behavior. Well, yes. They you take the people up for the class and then you kick them out and keep the money. But Lord's sake, wasn't that enough? Yeah. Isn't that isn't that enough of a shit thing to do to people? I know. You know, public humiliation and sexual assault. Were you going for the bonus level of hell? Because you're not going to get any more money out of them via public humiliation and sexual assault. I mean, because Jesus, I mean, if you want people to pay for that, you are in entirely the wrong business. This you, you don't get better accommodations. Satan doesn't have a penthouse. You know, I did fuck. It's all well, I mean, technically, yeah, there's the lowest level where Satan is in the ice where people ice skate over your face, which is the only part exposed from the ice. That's malice, the lowest level. So they're pretty fucking malicious. I hope you enjoy the feeling of ice skates on your face. This next one, this makes me a little sad, but also really goddamn impressed. This, this, it's awful, but impressive. I, 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 wow, this kid has got a future. 14 year old boy arrested for drug driving in South Dakota. Oh wait, it gets better. South Dakota police say a 14 year old boy who was driving drunk has been arrested along with his father who sat intoxicated in the passenger seat. Boy and his 49 year old father were arrested shortly after midnight. Two were from Mitchell about 50 miles east. Uh, police caught the vehicle after receiving reports the boy was driving. Here's the impressive shit. The boy's blood alcohol content level was 0.165, more than twice the legal limit to drive. Hats off to you, kid. Holy I shit. I mean, you'd like to say, well, at least dad had the presence of mind to get a ride home because his ass <laughs> was drunk. But then you consider that he got a ride home from his 14 year old who was also drunk and all of that goes out the window. He was all of the drunk that that was every single drunk. There was no more drunk left. That kid and had he had an open container in the car, according <laughs> to the rest of the story. He was still drinking. I wonder which Party one was ongoing. I wonder which one of them said here, hold my beer. You know, it was said at some point. Well, how? Well, we know how this becomes a good idea because booze. <laughs> Once you're twice the legal limit, everything's a great idea. 14 years old. When I'm drunk, everything's a great idea. So maybe not having a four. You know, I think I would still have the presence of mind to be like, you know what? You're 14 and also drunk. Why the fuck are you drunk? First of all, second, you're not driving me home. I, however. That kid's impressive as shit. Twice the blood alcohol content, and he was driving. To be fair, at 14, that can't be terribly hard. If you're a 14-year-old who is not generally a huge drinker, that can't be terribly hard to get your blood alcohol that high. Ah. 
it's still it's it's that's I I feel wow. I want to meet this kid because it's awful. Shouldn't be driving, but damn, kid, you're gonna go far. No, no, he's not because he can't fucking drive. Two words, Senator Lutarski. You've never seen Animal House. It should. Oh, surprise. what am I gonna do with you, woman? Okay. The last story tonight. Children, brace yourselves. This is officially the best thing in the history of ever. This is the best story. This, this, I'm so happy that I get to tell you guys about this story. You don't know. You just, you don't know. This is from Georgia. Georgia Health Sciences University, to be precise. Oh, yes, I saw this. A Georgia Health Science University lab tech found drunk, partially clothed, two lab monkeys found outside their cages. I had no idea you had a job as a lab tech. Ha ha ha. Wrong state. Police discovered Coley Mitchell partially unclothed in a locker room. Uh, he was intoxicated and seated in a chair with his pants half down. Spokeswoman said two monkeys were found outside their cages. The monkeys were fine. Nothing wrong with the monkeys. But this is amazing. This is. I, I know I've I'm just so happy. You know, who hasn't? Work study jobs are boring. I had a couple work study jobs in college and they're boring. And sometimes you just got to get drunk and let the animals out of their cages and get naked. I mean, I can honestly say they haven't done that. I mean, I guess I worked in the marching band office and there really weren't a lot of live animals to release, but I have a really active imagination. So. I was able to power through. You could have released the football team. They wouldn't have been caught dead in the marching band office. Did you ever used to watch Kids in the Hall? Yes. People think I've got the power because I've got the monkeys. <laughs> yeah. I've got the power. So I'll let the monkeys loose. They goddamn don't understand that. They goddamn don't understand me. That's all right. That's okay, see, because people, they understand monkeys. People so, do understand monkeys, I uh, think. Yeah, someone in chat, Ca Captain Roofer said, uh, isn't this how 28 Days Later started? Is it? <laughs> Yeah, well, no, it was, this was that was some animal rights activists letting out some monkeys. But but this one, this one's more like outbreak. I would think. Yeah. Yeah. I or would. Planet of the Apes. Mm. Tim Burton version, Marky Mark and the Monkey Bunch. All. But you notice how every single example we have, none of them is good. Not a single example is a good thing. There were nothing, I don't know, I'm sort of fond of Marky Mark and the Monkey Bunch. Nothing good comes of releasing monkeys from cages. Nothing. I would argue that nothing good comes of originally putting monkeys in cages. True. If you just leave the monkeys alone, if you just leave the monkeys alone, the monkeys are happy. And, you know, they occasionally throw feces at you, but that's a lot better than taking over the planet. This is going to be in this guy's obituary. You know that. It, this, this is going to follow him. In fact, I love the look on this guy's face. It's not the best picture. But this guy just has this look on his face like, Yeah, I let, got drunk and let some monkeys out. I think someone needs to explain to him that that is not the way one studies the ancient art of drunken monkey style. 
no, that's that's not that's not how that works. <laughs> He's just like, well, let the monkeys out. Yep. What are you do? Let the monkeys out. Eee, eee, eee. <laughs> I don't know why I did a pseudo dolphin sound for monkeys. What, do mo- what sound do monkeys make? They kind of make it eat, like a squeaky, right? I I'm not demonstrating because you will use this against me if I do. Do the monkey sound. Come on. I have done dolphin sounds. I have. I didn't ask you to. I have offended the entire nation of Australia who are apparently sending all of their deadly wildlife after my ass now. I didn't ask to- you to do that either. Well, the channel asked me to do the dolphin. The channel is asking for the dolphin noise now. I am not your dancing monkey people. Technically, I would say I'm not here from your for your amusement. Technically, I am here for your amusement, but that does mean you can just put a quarter in the machine and be like, Tara, do a trick. No, I am. I'm here for your amusement. That doesn't make me your bitch. I Nash bitch. He'll wear pigtails for money. <laughs> Deny it. You have worn pigtails for money. If he says he'll let the monkeys loose, (laughs) he will let the monkeys loose. But you have no monkeys. So get a hold of a dog once. Oh, yeah. I guess that's, that's the first thing we learned tonight. Nothing good comes from letting monkeys out of cages or putting them in there. But once they're in the cages, don't nothing good's going to come from letting them out. No one's going to be happy. The monkeys aren't going to be happy. You're not going to be happy. The monkeys in the cages, you have to keep them in the cages. The only person who's going to be happy is Dustin Hoffman because there's going to be a sequel. That's it. No one's going to be happy. That's and Andy Serkis. Andy Serkis. Yeah. James Franco because he'll get some cred back. Yeah. Wasn't he in One BC? No, no, he was in uh, Your Highness. Why did you do that? Um, we learned that shooting guns. Not, not just like flowers. Yeah. Girls like flowers. Like, yeah. Chocolates. I'm led to understand stuffed animals. That's- Jewelry. Nice dinner. Mm-hmm. You know, something nice Please like go. Leave the guns at home. Maybe if your girl is into guns, take her to the range. Fine. Have like a shooting range date. Shoot clay pigeons or something. But don't just randomly shoot guns into the air for any reason ever. Yeah, they they did that shit in the Old West. But that was the Old West. Yeah, it's not the Old West anymore, notice. Bullets are not pixie dust. No. Bullets are not pixie dust. Um, And also... Don't do that shit. And well, no, no. Yes. If you if you do that shit, please put that on YouTube. Make all yes. the evidence publicly available so we can weed out the unworthy criminals and we'll get ourselves like some Lex Luthor super More villain shit. Did that, we could probably pay down the national debt on the money we'd save on investigative processes. Yeah, but then, you know, we're going to get like a Dr. Doom or some shit. and It's going to be awesome. Dude, we learned keep your sausage wrapped, especially if it is in your pants. In any sense of the word sausage, in every possible sense of the word, keep that sausage wrapped. Keep your sausage sausage wrapped. Unless you're grilling it or alone with or without a consenting partner. And if you're grilling it with or without a consenting partner, hey, have fun. I don't judge. Oh, don't do that to your sausage. Hey, people are into some shit, dude. Henry Rollins slammed his sausage in a toilet seat He's cover just out of curiosity. Well, that's Rollins. He ain't right. Um, we learned that after you've got their money, you don't need to have them trim your pubic hair. You already have their money. I can't you believe. You're enough of an asshole. I can't believe I had to say that sentence out loud. In, in no other context. 
Imagine trying to say that anywhere else in any other conversation, you would look like you were fucking insane. I, yet I have to say these things because it's fucking true. You have reached your asshole daily requirement. You need asshole no more. Good Lord. Fuck that lady. And not in the fun way. In the ear with a rusty spork. Fuck that lady. We learned that a 14 year old can drink your ass under the table. And then drive you home. And then drive you home. Yes. It did. You notice it did not like it. I love that the article says it didn't say he was driving badly. It just said they called the cops because a kid was driving. So as far as you know, he was still doing just fine. I'm impressed, son. It was drunk driving, a serious thing. Don't do it. And yet. Wow. You're going to go far, kid. Uh, if, if you're if you're going to run afoul of the law, go for the gold. And uh, yeah, and I so happy monkeys. So I love a good monkey story. You're going to be the only one happy when the radioactive monkeys from the Japanese nuclear power plant rise up and kill us all. I promise you I will not be the only happy one. because th There's, There's going to be Mothra. Did you hear? The fucking moths and butterflies in Japan are mutating. Like, they found all kinds of mutations in the moths and butterflies around that power plant. Like, we are 10 years away from fucking Mothra. Make, I, peace, with your, make peace with the deity of your choice, people. We're done. I, I'm not... I don't think that's how that works. Radioactive. Isn't that how Godzilla was made? Godzilla was fictional. He was, he was not a real thing. Arthur C. Clarke said science fiction was the precursor to science fact. Science fact. Yeah. And the malls are mutating, people. The malls are mutating. And the monkeys will be next. And we'll have King Kong and Mothra and no Godzilla to fight either of them. And we will be totally boned. And you'll all be like, oh, Tara, we're so sorry. We called you crazy all those years ago when you predicted exactly what would all oh, the moths are eating me. And I'll be in my underground bunker laughing at all of you. You are officially weirder than me. That is just, that is hard to just do. Just now achieve this. You officially weird. You fucking weirder than me. Just now. I, I just achieved. I've just unlocked this achievement. I built a, this for a while. I built a wall for the express purpose of banging my head into it. And you're still weirder than me.